Now we will be discussing the crystal deposition within the joint. Hyperuricemia. Uric acid is within the blood. The blood goes everywhere in the body. Why? Crystals will be deposited within the joint particularly. Why? It's not somewhere else. This is what we're going to see right away. It must be some factors, some uh, conditions that make the joint the, the place where crystals are going to be deposited. Here is a functional diagram of a synovial joint. It's a functional one, not an anatomical one. Two bones. Articular cartilage, synovial membrane, synovium, and the fibrous layer. Within the synovium, we have two layers, antima and subantima. Within the antima, we have two types of cells. Type 1, they are macrophage likes macrophage-like cells and type 2 they are fibroblast-like uh, cells the type 2 cells are going to secrete hyaluronic acid within the synovial space just uh, just under the antima we find capillaries capillaries have a structural property. They are fenestrated. They contain windows. Why do they contain windows? You, you know, always structure correlate with function. Because here, ultrafiltration occur. We know about ultrafiltration within the glomeruli of the kidney. Here also we have an ultrafiltration that makes an ultrafiltrate of the blood circulate here within the uh, synovial space. So I'm going to draw an arrow from a window to the, the, the synovial space. Here we have ultrafiltrate. Ultrafiltrate. I guess today is the international day of number two because if you remember in the beginning we say we say gout two words hyperuricemia inflammation pathogenesis two questions where and when synovium two layers antima subantima the antima two types of cells type one type two now. Let's go back to our hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia is within circulation. Okay? Hyperuricemia is within the circulation. The MSU molecule. The circulation will reach the synovium, go through the capsule and here in the capillaries there is hyperuricemia uric acid is going to leak through windows and comes here within the synovium okay here it is, uric acid. It goes, it, it came from here, from the windows. It's a functional diagram. Mm -hmm. Now, factor number one uric acid comes in. We are in the sign of you. Uric acid comes in because capillaries are fenestrated 
they promote this. But when wants to go out, it happens slowly, slower than other serum components. So we have slow elimination of uric acid from the joint. If it continues to come in through the fenestrated capillaries, but it is eliminated slowly, it's a concentration mechanism. We're going to have a buildup of uric acid, increased concentration. And this super uh, saturation is going to initiate the nucleation of U, uh, MSU crystals. So here, a build up of uric acid, build up of MSU molecules, which are going to have a party within the synovium. Join hands and form crystals. Now, here the elimination is slow, slow elimination. But once crystals are formed, no elimination. Uh, crystals can't go through windows. Crystals need doors, and here we don't have any doors. There is also another uh, factor incriminated in crystal formation and deposition within the joint. It's about antibodies. There are antibodies. Evidence have shown that there are antibodies that bind uric acid molecules and when they bind them, they promote the, the crystallization despite the forces that uh, tend to separate the uh, the MSU molecules. So this will promote the crystal formation and crystals can't go out. So uric acid comes in, goes out slowly, concentration, supersaturation, crystal formation, crystal formation promoted only uh, also uh, by antibodies, crystals can't go out. We have said earlier that crystal deposition within the joint happens within the synovium but happens to within the articular cartilage. Why? Uh, with aging and uh, some conditions like osteoarthritis, articular cartilage uh, will have some some changing in its properties uh, and becomes a promoter and a facilitator of crystal formation it's it's like uh, it uh, it gives a platform to that attracts and helps uh, MSU molecules to crystallize there. So here we're going to draw some MSU molecules here that are going to have a party within the cartilage and eventually this is it's going to be a crystal. A crystal deposited within the cartilage. So quick overview slow elimination uric acid comes in goes out slowly slow elimination concentration concentration crystallization antibodies here that promote the crystallization the articular cartilage 
also attracts and helps MSU molecules to form crystals. They cartilage.